Good evening, Lobos. I'm President Stokes, and I'm so pleased to be joining you virtually this evening for this wonderful reception. Although I'm glad to have this technology available literally at my fingertips, it feels strange to not be able to celebrate with you in person. So just know that I and everyone at UNM, we miss you and we look forward to a time that we can be together on campus again. You may not know that UNM's annual recognition reception is one of the university's most longstanding traditions. The first recognition banquet took place in 1976, some 44 years ago, which means that this celebration is probably older than most of your instructors, your mentors, or your supervisors. We've been doing it for decades though because it's so important. It's our way of taking time at the end of the academic year to honor each of you, our students, for all your remarkable accomplishments and to recognize and show you how much we appreciate your hard work and commitment. Thanks to the support and hard work of Alumni Relations and the Student Activity Center, this event has grown in size every single year. And while I know it doesn't feel like it when you're sitting at home by yourself or with a few friends and family, know that you are not alone. There are lots of your fellow Lobos being recognized tonight for incredible work and service. Tonight, you'll hear about some of UNM's best as we recognize national scholarship winners, accomplished leaders, and emerging leaders. Those themes, scholarship, leadership, dedication, and service, define who we are as Lobos, and I really couldn't be prouder of you. You make our university, our community, and our world a much better and much more interesting place. Again, congratulations, and thank you all for coming together for what has to be our most unconventional reception ever. I hope you all enjoy this evening, and I hope we get to see each other again on campus real soon. Let's go Lobos. Hello, my name is Eliseo Cheo Torres. I'm Vice President for Student Affairs. And I'd like to congratulate all of you that are being recognized for your excellent volunteer work, leadership and service to the university and to the community of Albuquerque. Let me tell you how proud we are of your accomplishments. Uh, you also have done well academically. Uh, you have worked above and beyond other students and have done good in the classroom, so we are proud of you. And also the service work that you have done is amazing, uh, whether it be under student government, either ASUNM or GPSA, you have excelled at service to the university community. Either through um, an office in student government or through a student government agency. Uh, and we have several of those agencies that, that provide service and touch many student lives throughout the University of New Mexico. Or whether you're a member of the Greek family, either a fraternity or a sorority and have done service through a Greek family or an honor society and because you have earned those grades to be in those honor societies. Or you may have been a member of and done service through a university club, some 400 clubs throughout the University of New Mexico. Or you have also done service through one of our academic support programs. So there are many programs that go above and beyond the classroom. Let me thank you for that and also uh, thank you for being a role model. You've been a role model to other students, and you've had your role models also. A role model, whether it be your parents, people that have always stayed with you, that have been with you since birth, and will always support you. Or a role model, whether it be a faculty member, who faculty who are excellent in a classroom, faculty who are authors of books, faculty who have done research or whether it's a staff person a staff that is a member of those support programs throughout the university including the student activity center who are sponsoring today's event 
Again, let me tell you how proud we are of your accomplishments. Those of you who are graduating, please stay in touch with us, join the Alumni Association, return to homecoming, and those that are staying with us, students, we hope that you return next year and be recognized again for all of your service that you've done to the university and to the community of Albuquerque. Finally, let me tell you that during this crisis, we want you to stay safe and healthy. Again, this is Cheo Torres congratulating all of those students being recognized. Hello, this is Tanya Trapp with the Accessibility Resource Center. It is a great honor for us to present this year's ARC Annual Student Award to Jasmine Castillo. This award recognizes an ARC student who has significantly enhanced UNM through their leadership. Jasmine has demonstrated her outstanding leadership qualities as an energetic and enthusiastic new student orientation leader Incidentally, she is the first NSO leader we know of who happened to be blind or visually impaired, and she has been the president of the student chapter of the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill. Jasmine is about to graduate with a bachelor's degree in psychology, and she is starting her master's in counseling at UNM this fall. We are extremely proud of Jasmine for all she has accomplished. Congratulations, Jasmine. Hello, my name is Patricia Law. I am the Senior Student Success Specialist in African American Student Services, and I have the honor in announcing our recipients for our award this year. Since 2005, the African American Student Service Award has been presented to students, staff, departments, and community who've demonstrated an outstanding commitment to our center and to our students. This year, our 2020 recipients are Miracle Luster and Nyjah Gonzalez. We want to thank you for everything you two have done in African American Student Services to make it a better place for the future of our students. We are forever grateful for your service and we'd like to present you with the African American Student Service Award for 2020. Hello everyone, I'm Alexis Kirshner Tappan, president of the UNM Alumni Association. We work to keep UNM graduates connected with the university and its faculty, staff, and students. And students are who we are here to celebrate right now. We are so proud of the recipients of the Trailblazer of the Year Award and the Citizenship Awards. While certainly we wish we could all be here together to honor these accomplished individuals in person, we thank them and all of you watching for your willingness to adapt to and utilize virtual environments so we can safely recognize these exceptional students. Trailblazers are our student ambassadors for the UNM Alumni Association and for UNM. They volunteer their time at alumni functions and participate in special projects and fundraising activities. And we're so pleased to announce that Jorge Rios is our Trailblazer of the Year for 2020. Congratulations, Jorge, and thank you for everything you've contributed to the Trailblazers, the Alumni Association, and to your university. We also want to recognize the recipients of the 2020 Citizenship Awards. These awards are given to seniors who have demonstrated outstanding leadership skills and provide continued service to the university and the community through their endeavors, helpfulness, good spirit, and cooperation. This year's Citizenship Award recipients are Brendan Gray, Enrique Cruz Torres, and Victoria Pena Parr. We sincerely thank you for your dedication and service to UNM. Jorge, Brendan, Enrique, and Victoria, thank you for your dedication to the Alumni Association. Of course, we hope to continue to see your involvement in the Alumni Association and through the Young Alumni, and maybe even the board someday. We wish you the best in everything that you do. Congratulations, stay safe and healthy, and thank you. Go Lobos! The Outstanding American Indian Student Service Awards commend Native students on our campus committed to serving the community at large. Recognition is based on accomplishment and achievement in the areas of leadership, participation in campus activities and organizations, academics, and service to Native organizations and tribal communities.
The first recipient of this year's award is Talia Bowman, who hails from the Navajo Nation and is a senior graduating this semester, receiving a degree in psychology with a minor in family and children's studies. Next up for Talia is establishing a career in counseling in a school system or private practice. Talia has immersed herself in the UNM community and has experienced significant accomplishments in a number of areas, but she's most proud of the contribution she's been able to extend to her fellow Lobos as a UNM enrollment management peer success coach to incoming freshmen. Congratulations, Talia Bowman. Next is Kiana Holian from the Pueblo of Cochiti. She's a graduating senior finishing up her final semester as a population health major and psychology minor. Next week, she will become the first in her family to earn a college degree. Kiana's interests have afforded her the opportunity to integrate a passion for community engagement with success as an academic scholar. Over the course of the past four years, Kiana's scholarly accomplishments have been highlighted through the UNM Dean's List, as well as receiving a wide range of academic honors and scholarships that are a testament to her commitment to achieving excellence. Her Greek life and ASUNM experiences are vast, and the successes she's been able to realize through service and volunteerism reflect her commitment to enhancing the lives of others. Congratulations, Kiana Holian. American Indian Student Services extends its heartfelt gratitude to this year's selection committee and all the individuals that took time to submit nominations and recommendation letters on behalf of this year's nominees. Thank you. My name is Adam Biederwolf and I'm the student body president of the University of New Mexico. I want to thank you for tuning into the ASUNM portion of the 2020 recognition reception to recognize all of our outstanding student leaders. I want to personally recognize our incredible student service agencies and executive cabinet members for dedicating their work and passion to the students of UNM. The Cherry and Silver Innovation and Programming Award is an award given to a student service agency that goes above and beyond to enhance the student experience by executing new and improved programming efforts. The Southwest Film Center innovating their fall, pro their fall programming by spearheading a brand new student film club while adding two additional events to their annual film festival in December. Congratulations to the South Southwest Film Center for their hard work on the Real Club and the Cherry Real Film Festival. The Outstanding Executive Director of the Year is given to an agency director that not only focuses on the success of their agency, but also dedicates their energy to create a fun, safe, and learning environment for all students. Lacey Gardner is the textbook definition of what it means to be charismatic, and she always delivered a positive attitude that influenced not only the ELL program, but ASUNM as a whole. Congratulations to Lacey Gardner for being named our Outstanding Director of the Year. The Distinguished Service Award is given to students who present noticeable growth in their respective positions while going above and beyond to meet the overall mission of ASUNM. Director of Communications Amanda Perea and Speaker of Joint Council Victoria Knight both carried themselves with professional attitudes throughout the year and their work successfully contributed to our efforts of true student representation. Congratulations to both Amanda Perea and Victoria Knight for their distinguished service. The Agency of the Year Award is given to an organization that exceeds expectations with successful programming, exceptional outreach, and outstanding community involvement. The community experience reached new heights this year by engaging the UNM and Albuquerque community through events like Fall Frenzy, Virtual Spring Storm, The Giving Tree, and their outstanding weekly volunteer meetings. Congratulations to Lynn Madani, Brooke Martinez, Lauren Canlin, Megan Lucero, and Rose Crumb for their exceptional work. My name is Madeline Lucas, and I'm the Vice President for ASUNM. I'm here to announce the Fall 2019 and Spring 2020 Outstanding Senators. The recipients of this award are nominated by their fellow Senators, and they follow a long line of campus leaders who have made change for the best in ASUNM Senate. The recipient of the Fall 2019 Outstanding ASUNM Senator is Ryan Regalado. He was a member of the Steering and Rules Committee, he was SNR Chair, and he will be serving again in the fall. He's one of the most hardworking senators that has ever been seen, according to his peers. He always goes above and beyond and truly cares about what is best for the students. Congratulations, Ryan. The recipient of the Spring 2020 Outstanding ASUNM Senator is Ricardo Hill. As a first semester finance senator, he's always bringing fresh ideas to the table. He always stands up for what he believes in, and according to his fellow senators, he's dedicated and passionate and he always wants to help the students. 
Congratulations, Senator Hill. The Clove Award is given to UNM seniors who have at least a 3.0 cumulative GPA and is based on leadership, involvement, and academics. Those selected have made a significant contribution to the campus and our community. Adam Biederwolf, majoring in business administration. He is the ASUNM president, sub board president, Lobo Spirit Executive Director, and the 2019 Acura ILX Marketing Challenge first place winning participant. Kiana Holian, majoring in population health, the Udall Scholarship recipient, College Horizon Summer Program, resident advisor to the American Indian Summer Bridge Program and the Chi Omega Sorority. Nyasia Gonzalez, a dual degree in criminology and political science. She is the NAACP president, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated president, ASUNM outstanding senator for 2019 and on the ASUNM student fee review board. Madeline Lucas, majoring in political science with a minor in chemistry. She's the ASUNM Vice President, Mortar Board Vice President, ASUNM Finance Chair, Mayor Select Intern at the City of Albuquerque. Sonia Ramirez, double major in Family and Child Studies, HDFR and Psychology, Mexican Student Association Vice President, El Puente Research Fellow, El Centro de la Raza Student Success Leader, Transformar Summer Leadership Institute. Stephanie Strong, majoring in nursing with a minor in military science, RVA Community Association President, UNM Student Nurses Association, Army ROTC, Agora Crisis Center. Javier Vallejo, majoring in population health, minor in international management, Amos Health and Hope founder, ASUNM Student Special Events Executive Director, UNM Homecoming King, Meow Wolf Events Summer Intern. Thank you for joining us and celebrating our Raza Excellence Outstanding Student Award recipients. My name is Alejandro Mendias, and I'm a program specialist at El Centro de la Raza. This year, we have the honor of recognizing two graduate and four undergraduate students. This award commends outstanding graduating Raza students at the University of New Mexico who are passionately committed to serving their community. Recognition is based on accomplishment and achievement in the areas of leadership, academics, participation in campus activities and organizations, and of course, service to our Raza community. This year's recipients have gone above and beyond their academic careers to make their corner of the world a better place. When they were not being recipients and creators of knowledge in the classroom, these outstanding students were serving as agents of change in their communities. El Centro de la Raza is proud to present these six outstanding individuals with the Raza Excellence Outstanding Student Award in recognition of all they do and will continue to do for our community. Muchísimas felicidades a Montserrat, Christian, Osmar, Damien, Mireya, y Ana. Over the course of the past academic year, students in the fraternity and sorority community at UNM have made a significant impact. In addition to raising over $16,000 for Special Olympics New Mexico, these students have put in hours of community service to make UNM and Albuquerque better. It is my distinct privilege to announce the following award winners for this year. I would first like to recognize the winner of the Interfraternity Council Masonic Scholarship. This scholarship recognizes an IFC fraternity man who exemplifies what it means to be in a fraternity. This year's recipient has excelled academically in his short time at UNM. In addition, he has given much back to the community as the president of his own chapter and as the assistant director of Lobo Spirit. I am very proud to recognize Heath Scraw of Pi Kappa Alpha as this year's winner of the IFC Masonic Scholarship. Next, I would like to present the Terry Sperry Scholarship. 
This scholarship is named for Terry Sperry Carr, who graduated UNM with a bachelor's degree in mathematics and held a 30-year career at IBM. Mrs. Carr worked in technical, sales, and marketing management positions around the United States and served as the director of global marketing programs at Vision Source following her IBM retirement. Mrs. Carr was featured in a book called The Women of True Grit for her many achievements. In addition to Terry, both her brother and sister attended UNM. Her brother Glade was a renowned architect and designed the Dominici Building. Her sister was a math major and served as the president of Chi Omega when she was in school. Due to Mrs. Carr's generosity, this is the seventh year Panhellenic has been able to award this scholarship. This year's winner has not only excelled academically, she has served the Albuquerque special needs community for years as an athletic coach and mentor. I would like to congratulate Mei Ling Traeger of Alpha Chi Omega for being this year's Terry Sperry Carr Scholarship recipient. This next award will actually go to an alumnus of UNM. Every year, our fraternities and sororities work with local volunteer advisors from their own organizations, and what they do would not be possible without these alumni. These volunteers put in countless hours supporting the success of our fraternities and sororities and every individual member. Each year, we recognize one advisor who has gone above and beyond and made a significant impact not just on their own organization, but the Greek community as a whole. This year, I'm very happy to announce the winner of the Outstanding Chapter Advisor Award is Alan Stone of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. I will now present the Advancing Our Community Awards. These awards recognize individuals for service within their own chapter, as well as in other campus leadership positions, all while maintaining strong academics. These individuals have continued to promote the Greek community in a positive light through their hard work and dedication. We are thankful and proud of each of the following recipients. The winners of the Advancing Our Community Award this year are Aron Sassenis, Phi Iota Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, John Cook, Sigma Chi Fraternity, Holly Gallegos, Chi Omega, Naeja Gonzalez, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Megan Goodart, Chi Omega, Miles Harris, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, Emma Hotz, Kappa Kappa Gamma, Savannah King, Kappa Kappa Gamma, Lynn Madani, Kappa Kappa Gamma, Isabella Perea, Pi Beta Phi, Adrian Schmidt, Alpha Tau Omega, Jacob Silva, Alpha Tau Omega, Davon Vigilant, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, and last but certainly not least, Molly Wright from Alpha Chi Omega. There are many exceptional men and women who make up the fraternity and sorority community at UNM. The Fraternity and Sorority Member of the Year Awards honor those men and women who have consistently gone above and beyond the basic duties of their office and responsibilities. One award is granted for each of our councils on campus. Nominees for the Fraternity and Sorority Member of the Year Awards are compiled through votes from individual members, from chapters, and votes gathered through a survey of the Greek community. We'd like to congratulate all of the nominees who have previously been announced. We are proud to know all of you and work with each of you. The following are the winners of this year's Greek Men and Women of the Year Awards. It brings me great pleasure to announce that the Panhellenic Women of the Year is Michaela Goodart of Chi Omega. The Multicultural Greek Council Member of the Year is presented to Claire Caro of Theta Nu Xi Multicultural Sorority Incorporated. And finally, the Inner Fraternity Council Man of the Year is Adam Biederwolf of Alpha Tau Omega. I'd like to thank all of our students for all of your hard work this year. We have certainly had a few curveballs thrown our way, and I'm so proud of the work all of you have done this year. Thank you, and I hope to see all of you again in person soon, and I'm looking forward to an amazing year next year. Hello, my name is Ryan Lindquist and I am the director of the Student Activity Center and advisor to the Graduate and Professional Student Association here at the University of New Mexico. GPSA represents over 5,000 graduate and professional students, provides beneficial programming for the graduate student experience, and distributes thousands of dollars in graduate research assistance. I am proud to present their winners of the 2020 GPSA Awards. These awards recognize members of the GPSA community that did an exceptional job serving their student constituents. 
Many of the students in GPSA work both on and off campus, have families, and are enrolled in demanding graduate programs. GPSA is honored to be able to recognize their hard work, flexibility, and perseverance in benefit of these students. GPSA's most prestigious honor, the Brian Cologne Exemplary Service Award, is presented to Abdel Bassett Herity. The winner of the GPSA President's Award for Innovative Leadership is Carlos Oguin. The Outstanding GPSA Committee Chair Awards go to the program chairs, Jillian Fry and Urusha Thapa. This year's Distinguished Leader of the Year Award is presented to Cheyenne Trujillo. The Exceptional Dedication to GPSA Students Award goes to Benjamin Ahern Wild. And last but not least, the Excellence in Community Engagement and Advocacy Award winners are Hong Yan and Annie Lemming. On behalf of myself and GPSA, I'd like to congratulate all of this year's GPSA Award winners. The LGBTQ Resource Center is proud to present the Compton's Cafeteria Award of Resistance and the Sylvia Rivera Queer Legacy Award. The Compton's Cafeteria Award of Resistance honors the 1966 activism of trans, gender non-conforming, and queer folks who fought back against transgender oppression in San Francisco. This year's awardee is Rocky Kyle Cordova. Congratulations, Rocky. The Sylvia Rivera Queer Legacy Award is presented in celebration of the foremother of trans and queer liberation. The LGBTQ Resource Center presents this award annually to an individual who has helped advance transgender well-being on UNM's campus. This year's awardee is Joshua Enrique Lerma. Congratulations, Joshua. We want to congratulate both Rocky and Joshua. Thank you so much for what you've done for UNM's campus. Residents Life and Student Housing would like to acknowledge this year's winners of the G. Randy Boglin Outstanding Residence Hall Leadership Awards. The G. Randy Boglin Award was established to recognize volunteer leadership in the residence halls. Residence Life selects up to five individuals to receive this award for their outstanding contribution to the residence hall community. This award is named in honor of G. Randy Boglin, who served as a former Dean of Students and Director of Residence Life and left a legacy in the residence halls of student leadership and activism that is present today. Our first recipient is Jade Charles. She is a sophomore majoring in biochemistry and she lives in Rep Alvarado Hall. Jade serves as a community association member and Eco Reps president. Our next recipient is Matthew Goldman. He is a sophomore majoring in statistics and economics with minors in management and honors. He lives in Alvarado Hall. Matthew serves as the National Residence Hall Honorary Director of Leadership. Our next recipient is Vanessa Lucero. She is a freshman majoring in speech and hearing sciences with minors in Spanish and psychology. She lives in Alvarado Hall. Vanessa serves as a community association secretary and treasurer and a National Residence Hall honorary member. Our next recipient is Peyton E. Luke. They are a sophomore majoring in English with concentrations in communication and journalism. They live in Coronado Hall. Peyton serves as a community association member and the Diversity and Social Justice Advocate Secretary. Our last recipient is Ty McNary. He is a junior majoring in psychology and chemistry. He lives in the RVA apartment. Ty serves as a community association member and a Residence Hall Association representative. Our five G. Randy Boglin Award recipients will also receive a commemorative plaque and a $1,000 scholarship. Thank you and congratulations to our recipients. Hi everyone, my name is Adam Crispin and I'm the Administrative Assistant to the Director for the Women's Resource Center. Today, I'm going to be announcing the Sabrina Single Mothers Scholarship recipients for this spring 2020 cycle. 
In February 2004, former WRC Director Sandrea Gonzalez established the UNM Women's Resource Center Sabrina Single Mothers Scholarship Fund. Having worked with many single mothers during her time at UNM and being a single parent and student herself, she saw how many mothers were having to abandon their education due to lack of funds, something that we continue to see today. The scholarship was created in hopes of alleviating just a little of the stress our single mother students face on campus. Since that time, we have raised more than $57,500 in our endowment, and at the time of this recording, we have awarded 71 scholarships totaling $35,500. Our first recipient of the scholarship is Adriana Johnson. Adriana is working towards her degree in business administration and is grateful to continue to work on her education and spend time with her children building a garden. Our next recipient, Isabel Mesa, is working on her degree in environmental engineering. Having this scholarship will allow her to buy a much needed tablet for her daughter who now has schoolwork and assignments to complete from home. Our next recipient of the scholarship is Cassandra Sprague. Cassandra is working on her degree in occupational therapy and is grateful that with this scholarship she'll be able to offset some of the additional expenses that she's faced and relieve some financial stress on her and her family. Our fourth recipient of this scholarship is Lori Romero. Lori is working on her degree in business administration and is grateful that with this scholarship, she'll be able to continue her education and accomplish her goals for her and her daughter. Our fifth and final recipient of this year's Sabrina Single Mother Scholarship is Gladys Moreno. Gladys is pursuing a degree in nursing in Spanish, and she's grateful that with this scholarship, she'll be able to pay her tuition and continue her academic career. By providing more access and support to higher education for our single parents, we can have a tremendously positive impact on the communities around us. Thank you all for your time, and please help me congratulate this year's Sabrina Single Mothers Scholarship recipients. Hi Lobos, I'm James Holloway, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs at the University of New Mexico and Professor of Nuclear Engineering. Let's all pretend that I'm standing at a podium in the sub ballroom there are fancy lights all around and a festive atmosphere fills, well, fills the internet because we are here to celebrate. Lobos are creative, smart, energetic doers. And the students we celebrate today have all done amazing things at UNM. This is the 46th UNM Student Recognition Reception and the first done online. So while we may lack the gussied up ballroom, we still have a unique venue. The students we recognize tonight have done everything. They've been leaders in student government, been outstanding scholars, have been involved in the many and varied communities of New Mexico. They've advanced transgender well-being on campus and more. They are single moms, members of Greek life, Navajo, Hispanic, Anglo. You, our students, you really represent all that is best in our state, nation, and world. Thank you for lending your time and talents to the University of New Mexico community. And I look forward to seeing all the amazing things you do next. I also must take a moment to thank your families and friends. For each of us, our success is never wholly our own. Others have helped us to be here, so thank you. Lobos, UNM will always be a home for you. So please stay connected to the Lobo family. Woof, woof, woof.